Pisces, hi. So this is going to be reading for the month of September. I keep on thinking November, not there yet. Uh, 2022. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with uh, Oracle cards. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the justice card. Yeah, you're you're kind of trying to fall into a place of more balance, more stability. You are starting off the reading a little not knowing, a little kind of up in the air, a little bit about something here. Uh, two of pentacles crossed by the five of pentacles. I feel like maybe this surrounds a decision of somebody leaving, maybe you leaving a situation. I don't know. There's definitely a sense of uh, a split, a break, uh, I have to leave kind of a thing. Uh, but I don't know how to do it or what to do about it exactly, you know? Uh, in your focus here, the Ace of Swords, that's an action-oriented energy. So there's definitely a direction in which you want to go. Now, are you wanting to leave something in the process? Or, I don't know, in the recent past, a lot of stagnation, a lot of pause. Uh, in your strength, the King of Pentacles, you got something going on here. You got something, uh, uh, a stable system somewhere within your life. It feels like you, you, you have a sense of security somewhere or you're after that in terms of, okay, I want to create this for myself. There's definitely a whole lot of um, emphasis on that as if it's already here or if it's not, you know, it's going to come kind of a thing. Okay. In the immediate future, uh, Seven of Cups, looking at choices here. Yeah, there's something you may have to part with here while you pursue something else. Uh, supporting this reading, Seven, okay. seven of Swords. This is you having your back turned to something, someone, I don't know. I mean, I see you. On one hand, I see you moving towards something, and on the other, I kind of see you, in order to move towards that something, kind of having to leave something else behind. Uh, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, you've got all the tools you need. All that needs to be done here is actual movement in the direction that you already kind of preset for yourself here. In your hopes and fears, hoping that everything's going to be Okay, and that the direction in which you're going is a good one, is, is one that fits you. Um, in the potential outcome, the fool, I see you taking a chance. Now, I don't know what kind of chance that is, but I see you kind of actually just throwing it all out there and just kind of going with it and seeing what happens. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the justice. The Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Okay. See, that's that's the thing. Cause you're showing me an energy of um Oh man, this one sucks. It's one of those things, I'll only leave this as soon as I know for sure that this one's going to work out. Uh, and this is where the universe is kind of asking you to trust because this is a very self-sabotaging energy. Not leaving this will not allow you to jump into this so that you can make it work out. Your energy is kind of stuck in this. It doesn't allow you to move forward to this and this requires your energy but not attached to this. It's one of those things where you would have to give something up in order to 
attain something else and you're kind of trying to make this work and then when this one works then you'll give up on this you know you want that guarantee from here you don't have it you're not gonna have it and this is kind of like cheating the whole plan of this um this one's gonna require a lot of trust on your part Let's see what the Two of Pentacles wants to tell us here. Man, and you're already out of this one. Energetically speaking, you're out. You're done. You're done here. And you know you're done. Uh, but he did that. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah. But you're keeping it like up in the air. Like, no, you know, let's, let's still keep it around. Or what? I don't know. It's the Six of Swords, you're out of here. The Ten of Swords, it's a done deal. And then you're showing me, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. You already did something. Well, energetically, physically, you're keeping it in the, I don't know. Let's do the Five of Pentacles. Three of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Uh, uh, uh. I, I get it. I mean, it's a painful process. I don't know what it is that you would have to leave behind. I feel like it's not necessarily the healthiest thing for you, you know, sticking around uh, here attached to the situation to begin with. I mean, it's working out, but it's not aligning fully with you to the point of, oh my God, this makes me happy. Um... Mm. But it is a painful process, even if it's not benefiting you at this time, this. Which again, don't know if it's a person, don't know if it's a situation you're dealing with. I have no idea what this is. But even if it's it's kind of a given that it's already kind of gone from your life, it's still a painful process. It's something that was part of your life at some point. So as much as you would be like, oh yeah, no, I'll give it up in a second or whatever, which I don't see you doing that anyway. Um, but say you were in that place, it would still be a painful process. Because, again, it was part of your life. So I kind of see you taking your time with this one. Taking your time to the point of trying to trick the whole situation at times with, oh, let's wait for this one to come through and then, yeah, it'll be easier to... No, it's the same. That's just kind of trying to buy yourself time there, you know? Let's do the Ace of Swords in your focus. The Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. You got it going on here. You know, you're showing up fully in your power, being able to achieve pretty much anything you you set your mind to here. And it is all kind of pointing towards a sense of commitment down the road. But it's like you got all the tools you need. And you're showing me you're seeing these tools. So you know you got it going on. So what the hell are you doing here? What's with this one? Let's do the King of Pentacles in your strength. <laughs> the Fool, the Page of Cups, the Magician. I'm not sure what's going on here because I see it all already kind of playing out for you. This side that you're heading towards, it's kind of already here. It, it's it's almost looking like you have it, and then you're like, yeah, but I want it a little more secure, a little bigger than it is, and then, you know, then I'll know for sure, and I'll leave this one. It's, again, a, a, almost like an energy of buying some time every time. Like, this is either building up or it's already there, the energy is, eh, yeah, there's room for improvement, there's, you know, it can go different directions from here, better directions, but you kind of already have it energetically speaking, you're there. This is a good place for you. So don't you tell me I'm waiting for this to be good, because it's good. What is this? Why are you not letting go of this? Let's do the Seven of Cups in the immediate future. The Judgment card, the Chariot, the Three of Pentacles. Only good opportunities. Doors are opening up left and right for you here in terms of opportunities, possible partnerships, and they're coming in. 
they're coming in because once you achieve this energy you're open to those and you attract those you know those doors opening up without you even needing the key because you have the key you know the invisible key with this energy the power of the mind doors open they all open um i don't know good stuff here you're you're trying to trying to buy time here for sure let's do the seven of swords Seven of Swords for the Supportive Energies, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit. This situation that you are unsure about, which you're not, but you are. Well, you're saying you are. Um, was, still is, a pretty important part of your life. It could surround, in certain ways, uh, a big aspect tied up to love. Um, the situation in itself either pushed you towards healing or it brought in itself a lot of healing. I don't know what it is. I do see the importance of it in your life. But I also see you kind of being tested here a little bit. Kind of like, okay, you know. This was worth something big in your life. It still is. Does it still belong in your life though? Because sometimes as important as it shows up and as our heart still is open to it, the energy surrounding us, surrounding this may not match anymore at some point. So that's where the challenge is for you, I think, because you're still feeling the love of it. Or you're still feeling the importance of it. Um, let's do the Ace of Wands in your hidden energies. You keep on buying time like no tomorrow, even here, when it's subtle energies, when it's like, oh, you know, there's these energies and I, I can't tell what they are. No, you're showing me clearly here that you know what these energies are. And then in the, you, you keep on showing me, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready, but when I will be, move aside. I'm going to do it. Trust me on that one. Mm -hmm. What's holding you down here, I wonder? Because it's the same energy that's popping up over and over again. And maybe you're not ready. I don't know. Maybe you're not ready. Because this other side that you're jumping into is definitely ready for you. You're ready for it. I don't know if physical, physically it's taking place, but energetically it's, it's definitely there. And then you're coming up with, but I'm not ready to let go of this one, which this one has nothing to do with this one. So at some point, something's got to give. You can keep on showing me I'm not ready. I'm going to believe you because, you know, I have no other option. You want to show me that, I'm going to believe you. Uh, if I see any something else in there i'm gonna point it out to you because you know me i'm gonna say it i don't see it for now so maybe maybe you're right maybe you're not ready for the knight of cups you get the queen of cups the high priestess the six of wands interesting because it's the first time in this other energy that i'm seeing love and it's a lot of love I don't know if it's tied up to this one in terms of, I don't think you associate that with, oh, you know, if I could take this with me and it could turn into that love that I'm seeking. Ah, I'm, not, I'm not seeing it like that. I'm seeing a new energy of love. Almost like a reconstruction of love. Because, I mean, these are all new energies here that you've stepped in. And it makes sense that love is going to show up as new. these energies for you let's do the full in the uh immediate future the uh, potential outcome not immediate future with establish the immediate future eight of wands king of wands nine of swords i kind of see you on this wave on this 
upwards wave. And then I see it keeping it a steady rhythm up there for you in terms of the energies and how they're playing off. And when this situation of I don't know, and you kind of let it go energetically, but physically you're still kind of keeping it up in the air. When this one hits, the way it feels like, you know, through this steady upward movement of the wave, which that's what's happening here energetically, you kind of have those kind of like, what do you call them? Like, but those are for airplanes, like those air. I don't know, you know what I mean, but but that's why I see it like like a gap in the in the wave, and then it is it, it's, it's just kind of restructuring. And at some point, if these gaps keep on happening, the wave is gonna ha have a hard time restructuring that fast and keeping it steady up. So this energy needs to be taken care of. Uh, in terms of figure out if you are kind of trying to buy time or cheat whatever's going on here and trying to bring an energy that doesn't belong into this new uh, realm that you're stepping in. This doesn't belong here. And you know it, you keep on showing it to me. You, you keep on showing me the, the cut, the split from this energy. And then you show me, but I'm still gonna keep it. It's fine. The universe won't see. We'll trick the universe. It's not going to see it. It's very small. It's not going to see it. I'll take it with. I'll put it in my pocket, shove it in my pocket. Nobody's going to see. Nobody's going to know. You know. The universe knows. I know now. So you're kind of screwed with this one. you got to take care of this one. You cannot, you know, you can't hide it forever. you got to figure out why it's so hard for you to let this one go. I understood the excuse of, you know... I mean, I didn't, but um, I'm waiting for something to be more stable. This is, everything's stable here, so um, that's not something I'm going to buy anymore. This one with I'm not ready, I may buy it because it's in the hidden energy. And this is where you guys tend to be more sincere because you don't know about these energies. So that's kind of me having a little chat with your soul behind your back kind of a thing. <laughs> and I look at this one, so it's kind of like giving you away. This one I'm tending to maybe believe. Maybe you don't feel you're ready. And if that's the case, then, you know, you'll know. But let's see. Let's see what the universe has. Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Chariot. You gotta rip that band-aid. You gotta rip that band-aid. You're scared of the pain that you're gonna feel because you're gonna leave this kind of a thing. Uh, I get the significance of this. I get the importance of this. Kai gets it too. Um, and you are anticipating that it's going to be a painful process. It may be. It may be. But that actually prevents you from ripping that band-aid. So, just so you know, when it's going to happen, the universe is kind of showing me it's got to be fast. You know, it's got to be like... Phew. Kind of like facing that fear in a split second, and then once you once you jump in it, you nothing else you can do. You can't back out anymore. You're done. So it's for you. I feel like it's an avoidance of fear of fearing that you'll get hurt by this process. Um, you kind of already are, and if you don't take care of it, it'll end up hurting you in this one that's building up. So it's your choice, you know. But Let's see what the uh, Oracles of the Fairies have for you as a final word. Quick. Light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light into your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Speaking of ripping that band-aid and just kind of going through that pain. See, you got support, you got light. What more do you want? You got fairies of light with you. So, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.